So this video is just kind of a short addition to the video I did yesterday on the new doubler effect on CoreOS 3.0. And as I was interacting with people in the comments section, I was realizing that I was using the doubler effect wrong in some ways. And that's because at its best, the doubler effect is a very stereo effect. It has a good amount of spread to it, and that's what makes it sound kind of full. And I was incorrectly putting it in front of mono blocks, and that was kind of feeding it back in. So I think in the other video, you got to hear the difference between those two. But in this video, what I want to do is try out a few options of moving the doubler up front, but still trying to maintain the stereo signal. So we're going to use this Pliny X preset. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the chorus and the delay on this rhythm tone. We're just going to use this. Just kind of a straight ahead rhythm sound. We're going to go ahead and add a doubler here. And we'll set the spread to, and we'll go to a good amount. We'll get up to like maybe 15. And so that's with the doubler towards the back end of the preset. And so everything after it is a stereo effect. So it's staying stereo and you get a certain amount of width to it. If we slide this in front of the cab, the cab is a mono cab. And this is forcing it to be a mono effect. So the effect's still there. There's still a delayed signal going on to try to make it sound like a double, but both signals are being forced down the middle. So if we just switch this to the stereo cab, we should get a better result. And I don't know if it's going to sound that much different now, whether it's in front of the cab or if it's behind the cab. It's pretty close to the same. But now let's see if we can move it up front. I'm going to put it after the drive here. And we're going to go ahead and add in stereo signal. And we're going to copy this device and hope that we have enough CPU. I do not have enough CPU. So just for this example, we're just going to take away this clean amp so we can go ahead and paste the device here. And we're going to go to our splitter. We're going to do a split. And we're going to go to the mixer and we're going to pan left and right so we maintain our stereo signal. So now we have a stereo amp running into a stereo cabinet. And we have our doubler on the front and it should sound good. <laughs> So by doing that, we can keep that stereo spread on the doubler and it's going to sound better. So keep that in mind too when you're moving it around. It is a very stereo effect and to get the best results, you're going to have to maintain that stereo signal from the doubler all the way through the rest of the preset chain. So I hope that clarifies that a little bit and thanks for watching.